Hi everyone. Uh, this question here is about a permutation with a restriction. In this case, we're permuting the letters in the word logarithm, and there are nine of them. Uh, in this question, though, we're told that the letters L, O, and G are not all together. Now, the implication is that you could have a couple of them together. You could have L, O together, or L, G, or O, G together, um, and then order, you know, you could play with the order there, but they're not all together, okay? So, what we're going to do here, first of all, uh, the, the easiest way to do this one is to do this in the negative. Okay, and what I mean by that is we're going to take the no restrictions. Our very first uh, question here in this, uh, the, sorry, the very first restriction here in our, in our questions here, which is no restrictions, oddly enough, okay, which was 9 factorial. So this represents all the different ways we can permute the letters without restriction. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract from this the exact opposite to what this question is asking. Because if we remove, if we take all of the possible ones and get rid of the exact opposite thing that we're looking for, what we'll be left with is the thing that we're looking for here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come up with a number of permutations uh, where L, O, and G are all together. Well, there are three letters, so that's going to give us three factorial. Okay, because that's the number of ways I can organize just that, that group of letters, L, O, and G. Now, there's a couple of ways to think about how the rest of this gets permuted. Okay, uh, you might think of it as there are six other letters to permute. Okay, and then we're going to treat L, O, G as, as one object that we add to that group of letters. So basically, think of it like this. We've got... L O G together, okay, as one object, and then there's the A R I T H M. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects that we're permuting. And so this would be nine factorial minus three factorial, seven factorial. Another way to think of it, okay, and this would be equal to nine factorial minus three factorial. Okay, again, there's the way the number of ways of permuting the letters L O G. Okay, once the LOG is out of there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six letters that I have to permute. Okay, and there's six factorial ways of permuting those. And then with those six letters, there are seven different places that the LOG can fit. It can be in front of the A, between the A and the R, and so on, until that last spot behind the M. And that's that's seven different positions there. So then you'd multiply that by seven. Now 6 factorial times 7 is, in fact, 7 factorial. So it really depends on how your, your teacher wanted to explain that to you, how you'd approach that.